Hello Reborners, my name is Karen and this is Making Dolls with Karen. We have Tessa out, she's had her final bake. I don't like her creases at all. She is messy looking to me. Anyway, I'm going to put her eyes and she's scalding hot. I'm going to try to find something to hold on to her with. Here's a rag. Oh. And I'm going to quickly pull out her stuffing so that we can put her eyes in. Oh, that looks dirty. I'm going to use this side. Um, anyway, uh, after we get her eyes in, we're going to go on and put her magnet in because uh, we'll have the stuffing already out of her head and it's a good time to do it. And then probably I'm going to uh, begin stuffing her, I mean, rooting her. Uh, it shouldn't take... I'm doing it so much faster now. It just doesn't take nearly as long as it used to. Uh, but we won't film that because I know it's super boring and nobody wants to see it. I've decided to give her dark eyes and dark hair. Well, brown. I mean, I'm not going to give her super dark, like dark brown hair. It might be medium or light brown. But I just didn't want her to be a blonde. She doesn't look like she's supposed to be a blonde to me. I don't know, I might change my mind. <laughs> I'm about to change my mind, I think. I think I'll make this set of Tessas, the other one, the closed eye one, I sort of, hmm, she's still scalding hot. I sort of left her behind so we could finish this one a little quicker. She's in the oven now and she's on her second bake, I think. And uh, so she's not even anywhere near ready for her hair yet. But, uh, I'm going to cut out her eye sockets. I do it around the circle instead of across the circle because I find that the eye slips in easier from the side than it ever did when you make that cut across the... I always had so much trouble getting the eye in that way. And this way I don't usually have very much trouble. Sometimes when it's really warm like she is now, the vinyl's a little too pliable and it moves with the eye instead of staying like it's supposed to. But uh, I just get them in much quicker this way. And uh, it's just a little bit easier. See, it's wanting to stick to the hot vinyl. Moving the eye into the position you want is a little bit harder, but I got it. And uh, now we're going to do the other one. Which to me is harder, I guess, because I'm right-handed. always afraid on this eye that I'm going to let the knife glance off and cut her vinyl on her face or something because it's awkward on this side and I've tried turning the head upside down and it just doesn't work I just can't get it cut enough or get position the eye in or something so it's a little bit harder so if you're right handed or left handed one of the eyes are going to be hard for you one of those people that can use both your hands equally well, you might not have any trouble at all. I'm finding Tessa looks a lot like Daphne. I don't know, maybe they're related. Sometimes I wonder about some of these dolls if they're not brothers and sisters. They quit putting down into the uh, listing, she's got a hair, uh, down into the listing which ones were related. Uh, I know they put down that, you know, Dominic and Alexa are brother and sister, and they put down that uh, Joseph and Darren are brothers, and there, I got it out. And see, her eyes are in now. Uh, but they, don't, they quit putting down any other dolls if they were related. And just because the dolls just came out doesn't mean that the, uh, they're still newborn babies. Cause Sometimes it'll say, uh, first photographs were taken in 2016 or something. I go, okay, that kid's big now. <laughs> Let's get a pacifier and give her a magnet. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use. If you make all your pacifiers correctly, they're exactly the same. And, and it makes no difference at all. You just put the magnet as close to the middle as you can get it and turn them all the same way. Then all you have to do is decide, 
See, that's the repelling side. It, it, it's forceful to push it down there. It won't even hardly go down at all. See, you can't make it go down. It's pushing away. So that means that's the side that is going to be open inside the head. The part that we want touching the inside of her head is the side that would pull, and that's this side. So we're gonna lay it down like that. We're gonna get our glue, and we're gonna put some on the magnet. And I just squirt some on there. It doesn't take a lot. It takes more than a drop, though. So. Um, I just squirt it on there like that, and then I, uh, take the, mat, the pacifier and I position it on her head like this into a position where it looks normal and like it would be if the, if the nipple was actually in the baby's mouth and then I just turn her head upside down just turn it upside down like this and just take your magnet and kind of chunk it in there and it's going to turn itself the right way and everything and now the glue and the magnet are against the inside of the head and we're gonna give it a minute to make sure the glue dries and the magnet won't slip. This pacifier will hold the magnet in the right place while it's drying. So we're just gonna set her to the side for a few minutes and let it do its job. And while we're doing that, I'm going to look her over a little bit more because I just really, really think she needs some more on her nails. And what I'm going to do is, and I do this sometimes, not always, just sometimes, is I'll take my brush and I'll put the nail stuff on the nails and then I'll just let it dry. And then once it's dry, I'll go on and put the uh, paper glaze on top of it because that gives you the best color right there. You don't have to worry about, okay, well, it baked and now it's it's real real light and, and it doesn't come off the paper glaze kind of glues it down it's just can you get it to uh the right color before you put the that's looking real good i like that color if you can get it to the right color before the paper glaze goes on then you've got a a good good color and uh and what we want to do is just put the paper glaze right over it and it'll kind of you know, mold it down, kind of like Sealer does to a doll. We're just gonna leave her sit a minute and let that dry. It is drying, because she is still hot, actually. So it is drying very fast, and it may not dry evenly, so we may have to come back and look at it again. It's real weird how this nail stuff does. Sometimes you just have to go with what you got, because it won't do any better. <laughs> But usually you can get it if you just keep trying. Sometimes this is the way to do it. Just as soon as it's dry, we'll put the uh, paper glaze on it. Now, you won't see me do it probably because I will have ended the video, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Because uh, the baking won't let the the color come through. It's just something that happens sometimes, not always, just sometimes. And uh, it seems real, real uneven on, on the doll, so I just go on and redo the nails, and they seem a dark color then, and, and they uh, remain that color. And you put the paper glaze on top, and they stay that color. It's just a little trick I learned. <laughs> My uh, niece would use a pencil and uh, she said, oh, it colored with a pencil. <laughs> I said, well, you okay. <laughs> That's how I got the idea for using pencils. She started out by doing the, um, the little white tip on the nails with a pencil because it's just so hard to paint that on there. It's so, so incredibly hard to get it on there straight, to get it to stay, and all that stuff, it is incredibly hard. And uh, 
and it, and I don't even like the way it looks. And you can do it with a pencil real, real easy. And you just slide it across there, that pencil, just ever so, so gingerly across the nail. And it just puts a little white, I can't do it right now, their nails are wet. It would just rub off the nail color. But that's what I'm doing to the nails right now for color. This one doesn't want to color. We're gonna do it again. But uh, this nail just does not want to color for some reason. It's either got to be thick and dark or not have any color at all. I don't know. I think we're gonna go with thick and dark. Okay, we're gonna let that sit. And as soon as they're dry, I'm gonna put the paper glaze on and I'm gonna do her lips over again the same way. I can't do it now because the pacifier's holding the magnet in place. But uh, we're pretty much done with her. The next step is gonna be her hair. And we're not gonna do that on camera because it's just too, too boring. I've done enough hair videos for right now for people to see how to do it unless I come up with some other technique or some other style of rooting or something that I need to show you. I'm probably not gonna do very many more hair rooting videos unless people start asking for them. And if I see in the comments that people are asking, well then I would go back and I would uh, then make another hair video probably. But that's in the future. But anyway, I wanna thank everybody for watching this series on Tessa. And uh, please like subscribe and share and thank you for watching and happy rewarding